kiss. That's none of their business. We should have just told the truth. We're going to a kissing party and none of us have ever kissed and we're scared. Lucas, I've had sex before, but I've never kissed a girl. Look, can we please have the drone back? If you don't give it back, I'll tell my dad you stole it. And I'll tell him that you're a pervert. We'll tell the whole school. This is sensual harassment. We'll tell everyone that you're a misogynist. I've never massaged anyone. This is what happens when you don't respect women. I respect women. My mom's my best friend. What about me? So good. When three tweens are invited to a kissing party, they spy on their teenage neighbor Hannah for some pointers. But as you might expect, their plan goes awry, and of course, chaos ensues. Well, we're joined today by Good Boys star Molly Gordon to tell us all about that. Thank you for being here. We were just saying that we watched this and we're just dying laughing. It's so funny. Thank you for yeah. the movie. That's really I'm hilarious. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. What was yeah. it like when you watched it the first time? Um, it was, yeah, I saw it at South By and people were laughing so hard, so it was so exciting, and I was so excited for the boys, and yeah, it's it was great. It's hilarious. It's, You're on a roll with comedies also, so oh. you were in 2018's Life of the Party with Melissa McCarthy, then Book Smart, now mm -hmm. this. So you take us back to when you knew that calling was kind of, I mean, that comedy was your calling. I uh, grew up just loving watching movies. I loved I loved Saturday I love and loved Saturday Night Live, um, and would kind of lie to my friends that I was in a fight with my parents just because I wanted to go home and watch it with my parents. Oh, and that was like a beautiful ritual that we had. Um, yeah, and my parents took me to see Anchorman when I was 11, which was probably too young. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I want to do that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to yeah. do. Yeah, well, the fact that that tells us a lot, like, they wouldn't hesitate at all for you to be involved in a movie oh, like yeah, this. this oh, yeah. We should tell people, this movie is definitely rated R. Yeah. It yeah. is, it's vulgar comedy. It's, the, it kind of owns that tone from yes. the jump. Good Boys is the name of it, again, if you didn't hear. So, the, the concept here, these tween boys are trying to, like, gear up for this kissing party. They kind of chat, or, or sort of, um, they sort of spy on you and another friend with a drone yeah. to get tips on kissing, and all this stuff happens. It made us think as we were watching it about our first kiss and like that phase of life when that's such a like, oh my gosh, how does it work? What happens? Yeah. I mean, for you, what comes <laughs> goes through your mind when you're kind of watching back and thinking about that phase? Oh, it, yeah, it's horrifying because I, yeah, I did not know how to kiss. I think my first, one of my one of my first kisses was in Truth or Dare. Like we did a Spider-Man kiss, and he told me years later that I bit him. Oh, really hard. <laughs> I think I thought it was like you had to involve your teeth. Okay, right. I thought the teeth, yeah. Teeth. Which actually would make a lot of sense that if you know nothing. It, like, yeah, it's nothing. It's yeah, I thought here. it was like teeth heavy, tongue heavy. <laughs> I didn't understand it. They're like absolutely not. Yeah, just kiss. So you're violent. Um, yeah, a, a yeah. very violent kiss. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think there's so much humor. What grade that time was that when that happened? Like eighth or ninth grade. Okay. I was definitely more like Keith's character. I was I was still a kid. I wasn't ready to yeah. to be a teenager yet. I was like third, fourth grade. Uh, legit really? on the playground. Yeah, yeah. With, I was a freshman. Uh, with Joy was her wow. name. Oh, wow. Hey, Joy. Shout out to Joy. What's up, Joy? Mine was a freshman. Yeah, I think I was a late bloomer. <laughs> yeah. Well, for a while though, I was telling everybody that it was actually in fourth grade because someone had kissed my elbow on the bus. <laughs> So I lied for a long time. But first I kiss that was, was awkward, kind of dry. <laughs> was on my you elbow. never wash your elbow. Yeah, 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 I just was like, this is my first kiss. <laughs> like, yeah. um, talk to us about working on this very raunchy comedy, though, with kids. Was yeah. it intimidating to you versus working with adults? Um, they, it wasn't intimidating. I honestly was very surprised at how professional they were. I would laugh more and I would goof off more. Jacob is like a veteran of the business. I say he's like a 70 or eight year old man. He like had a cigar and was like, Molly, you were great today. Like he's, he just like gets it yeah. and they were so great. And they're just not in their heads. And I think yeah. when you get older, you get more self-conscious. So I actually wanted to be more like they were. That's amazing. Cause yeah. you have Jacob Tremblay, you have Brady Noon, Keith Willing. They're so funny. They had those three in studio and they were hilarious. Yeah. What was something maybe surprising about working with those three? Um. They were just really good guys. They are good boys, and it would just made me happy that, like, to see the, the trajectory of their careers now, and to know that they were such good people now, and that they have good parents, and um, yeah, that was just a good part. I feel like I would, there would be so many moments where I would be like, "Are we saying this in front of them?" Like, yeah, because I will yeah. tell you, I've interviewed Jacob for several years, and it yeah. was like at first it was shocking. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the words coming out of his mouth. A hundred percent, yeah. But I just kind, of, I if we, they'd go, "What does this mean?" I'd say, "I have no idea." As well. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. One day we'll find out. Yeah, one day we'll all know. know. For yeah, now, exactly. none of us know. Exactly. Um, second hit comedy this year, a couple months ago, we saw you in Booksmart with your real life bestie. That that must have been a fun experience. Tell it us was about the that. Best. Yeah, she's she's just my best friend in the whole world. She's such an amazing person and she's so 
freaking talented. So I was just, I just felt lucky to work with her and to play like someone that is very mean to her. Is that the but, kind of thing where you know each other so well that you have to question like, I mean, obviously the writing's there, it's in the script, but in terms of your rapport, I would imagine you've got like inside jokes galore yeah. that you think are hilarious. That would, you know what I mean? Like totally. when it comes to being creative, it's like, yeah. okay, hold up. This works for everyone, this works for us. Yeah, I think we, I honestly think it, what was, it was better that we didn't get along in the movie because yeah. I think that forced us to kind of like have to work hard. I would have just been smiling the whole time looking at her, um, but I had to kind of just not like her, which was very, very hard for me yeah. since I'm in love with her. <laughs> yeah, and that movie is so great and it's so funny. Yeah, I um, feel really lucky to be to be a part of that movie. Yeah, we were doing our deep dive. You're also real life best friends with Ben Platt, yeah. who we love, and you know we know him from Broadway. You've also done theater. Yeah. Do you and Ben ever talk? Does he ever give you advice, or do you guys ever talk about doing live theater? Yeah, he gives me so much advice on what supplements to take. <laughs> how to, I can't stop. How, I can't stop talking, and he was like, you can't. Can't talk. You have to treat your body like a temple when you're doing it because theater is so hard. Um, yeah, he it's just amazing, and he started before me, so it's been great to like see how he navigates this life and and to learn from that. Wait, what are the supplements? Yeah, like right. supplements to take specifically for doing live theater, <laughs> or just like if you're starting to feel sick, take yeah. this vitamin C, have this tea. I need to know. Uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of yeah. You should go to him. I'm He's big like on the doctor. <laughs> yeah. I'm big on the zinc. I'm on the zinc train. He he he, yeah? he likes zinc. What is yeah. that? What is zinc? Zinc is like an immune thing, right? Yeah. Like yeah, if you start to feel a little something or you're around people, it's sort of like the emergency. Thing, emergency and then zinc. But be careful, guys. Eat first because a lot of zinc on an empty tummy will oh, make you feel good. bad. Yeah. He should start like a Google Doc that he can send out to people that are starting to do theater. Yeah. 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 That would work. <laughs> should we talk about uh, your parents? They are filmmakers. They're they're both directors and writers. I heard that they helped you sort of script a breakup. Is that right? Yeah. Breaking up with your boyfriend, like it's like okay, writer's room. Totally. Let's talk through this. Because I just wanted to say like we're done. I, I can't do this anymore. You were texting right there. Yeah, you were gonna do it via I, text. Totally, and, okay. they, and they were like, I was in eighth grade, and they said, no, you have to you know, kill him with kindness and say that you're going through something and not put it on him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and we wrote like a beautiful letter all together, oh. many drafts, and we sent it, and then we didn't talk for like a year, me and that guy, so it didn't go that well. But, but, yeah. but it was, but at least there was like a nice, totally. thoroughly and thought over definitely. <laughs> statement. And they've helped me like throughout the years with lots of different Romantic things. Yeah. Okay. Are you someone that you go write to your parents with the new person that you're dating? Yeah. Yeah, that's they're, great. They're yeah, they're definitely um, yeah, they're like the parents that you want to you you want to bring someone home to them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Honestly, Instead of afraid that your parents are going to be embarrassing. Yeah, or I, I had that kind of relationship with my parents too. I still do, but at, like with dating and everything, like I would tell them so much. There was a point where my parent, my dad was like, you you don't have to tell me all these some of no, these details. No, I'm the opposite. I never say anything. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm single for life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so since you play a bit of a mischievous teenager in Good Boys, we want to play a game called Guilty or Innocent. We're going to give you a scenario. You tell us if you are guilty or innocent. Of it. Are you yeah, ready? Yeah. I'm so ready. Here we go. Okay, first one, guilty or innocent of stealing props from set. Oh, guilty. I always steal things. Is there a favorite thing that you've recently stole or maybe from this movie from Good Boys? Um, did I steal anything from Good Boys? I think I stole a lighter. Okay, good. That Take was what do you want with that. Yeah. Sorry, I was very scared oh, yeah. about it. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you know that there's a lot of interesting props. Guil <laughs> guilty or innocent of drunk texting. Oh, guilty. Yeah. Always. Do you have like an apology tour the next morning? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Huge apology, apology tour. <laughs> yeah. Guilty or innocent of sliding in the DMs? Oh, innocent. I think that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to do that. Yeah. Do, have, has anyone ever slid into your DMs that you actually responded to? You know what I mean? That's like, oh, now we're great friends. Um, <laughs> some, I think a couple of, of female comedians and I have become friends through yeah. that, but not, I'm a little too scared. I like in person. I, Have you I ever like thought of sliding standard. in the DMs of like a celeb and then talked yourself out of it? I mean, I'd like to just slide into like Beyonce's DMs yeah. and be like, <laughs> I respect you and love you, but that's really it, yeah. Maybe this counts as that. Yeah, sort exactly, of, there you work. go. Uh, guilty or innocent, re-gifting a gift, huge sin. Oh, guilty. Because mm -hmm. you get like a bag of stuff sometimes and you, I'm allergic to it or something and you can re-gift it. Let me just also say this. I would encourage anyone that I give a gift to to feel free to re-gift it. I don't care I at all. I feel the same way. Like, yeah. 0%. Exactly. It's just going to go to waste. Right. Yeah. I don't care. All right, guilty or innocent of spoiling the ending of a movie or show? Guilty. I talk a lot, so yeah. I have that do problem. You? Yeah. Do you spoil it like, oh, so you'll just like with your friends like, oh my gosh, so you yeah. just give it up. Some, but I'm trying to be better about it, yeah. Yeah, like you are saying, Ben told, said you talk a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Molly, <laughs> so thank good you to talk so to much you. Thank you. Of course. You guys, make sure to check out Good Boys when it hits theaters this Friday, August 16th.